Hello, good evening. Uh, let me see. Yeah, windows are closed. Uh, I had a long day at work today, so I didn't write, which is fine. There's no deadline, so. Uh, it was two hours more than usual. Okay, yeah, I, I got off work at like seven. And, and it also it was very busy. <laughs> so, yeah, no energy to write anything, so yeah, I skipped writing this evening. But that's fine. Because when I write slow, actually it's a lot better. It, ra it raises the quality of the writing, uh, this academic article. This proof of special relativity, basically. So yeah, taking time is good. And uh, yeah, yeah, kind of low energy now. Long day, and busy day. But yeah, Dave's job is over. We got a lot done, so it's all good. Yeah, just low energy a little bit, that's all. Okay. Yeah. Happy Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Almost the weekend, right? Yeah. That's great. I can use some weekend, of course, I'll be ride, riding, but I ride on my own pace, so there's no deadline, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's good, so, what do we do now, I mean, I can tell you some more about what I wrote yesterday, <laughs> If you are interested, uh, so yesterday, yesterday, uh, why am I hiding the brand? Well, I don't want them to be associated with me because what if I have very ill fame, notoriety? Okay, I don't want to hurt their companies, right? Yes, yeah, I don't want to expose their brand. But I'm a huge fan of all these wonderful brands, by the way. Yeah. They're good. And, uh, after all, that's why I buy them. So. <coughs> yeah, I, can I cannot really talk about work because uh, it's confidential, right? Yeah, I'm a lawyer, so this confidential material, so I cannot really talk about work. And even if I'm allowed to, yeah, why would I want to talk about work, right? Yeah. So what did I, what else did I write yesterday? Yeah, I mean, I, pretty much nothing to talk about because we already, I'm just writing down what we talked about here. So there's nothing new, really, not here, right? Oh boy. Uh, how about copium transfer? Okay. Let's say copium transfer is this. Copium transfer from that person to me if this one single action, transaction, exchange, whatever, interaction, uh, that person suffers and I enjoy then copy and come from that person to me, okay? And sometimes, okay, how about flow of money, okay? Let's say I really want to give that person money, but that person does not want to take my money. But I really want to give that person my money. But that person reluctantly take my money as a gift. Right, so I give my money to that person. So money comes from me to that person, but copium comes from that person and to me. Why? Because that person was very reluctant to take money from me. And I'm very happy because that, that person gave me what I want. What is what I want? Take my gift. 
It's not bribery. No, no, it's just whatever contribution gift. Okay, you don't have to do money. Some gift, I guess. That happens, right? Yeah. Let's say sometimes I have my friends and I really want to buy them lunch. But sometimes my friends, they don't want that. They want Dutch pay, like each pay. But sometimes I really want to buy that person lunch or whatever. For example, let's say I'm dating, right? I really want to buy gift and bouquet of flower to say my date or lady, hypothetically, okay? But maybe she doesn't really want that. Maybe it's because maybe she doesn't like me very much. She doesn't want to feel like obliged and see that happens, right? Yeah. So copy of, direction of copy of transfer and direction of the money transfer. Uh, they could be opposite. They could be the same direction, but they are independent. Okay, they could be opposite direction, and they could be the same direction. The uh, direction of material flow is different from direction of copium flow. Okay, copium is more metaphysical, and material they are physical. Okay, so good. So, uh, if I write about this copium allergy, it has to be metaphysics in philosophy, okay? So, like, John of metaphysics, something like that, right? I don't know of any. I, I just, I'm, I'm sure, pretty sure there is such a thing as John of mathematics and metaphysics. That would be my guess. Yeah, John also about metaphysics, okay? So, I have a lot to write, okay? So, next two years, yeah. I'll be busy writing. So will I run for United States Senate? I think so. I think I will run in two years. Yeah. Because I I do really enjoy once in a while interacting with people. So, and after two years, I would have written. So, the previous paper it took me two weeks, right? On average, it, it seems uh, I'll be writing about one article per month on average. All right, so in two years, they, I probably will have written about 20 articles, academic articles. And most likely, yeah, of course I will submit somewhere, but most likely they, maybe one or two will be published. I don't know, I mean, just by probability, right? That's possible, but yeah, that's not the point. The point is, I write it and I put it somewhere on the internet. Okay, so that's my job. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm kind of low energy because I worked a lot, but I also ate a lot. I ate frequently, but little by little. Okay, so I don't ate like a lot at one time. But I ate probably I eat probably more than five, maybe about seven times a day. But then I yeah, do I eat snacks? Yeah, at night after the episode when I watch like movies. Yesterday I watched the the Mr. Bean. <laughs> it was so funny. That guy's a genius, right? Yeah, British comedy Mr. Bean. He's kind of like Middle Eastern descent, it seems, right? He got some talent, right? So uh, he was hilarious. Oh my goodness. Mr. Bean. Rowan Atkins. Mr. Rowan Atkins, right? Yeah. <coughs> I have the DVD. Yeah, it is hilarious. That guy's funny. Yeah, he got a lot. He learned a lot from Charlie Chaplin, by the way. Charlie Chaplin, yeah, he. Yeah, he kind of silent movie, right? He do not talk mu too much in a. Mr. Beans, right? Kind of silent comedy. Uh, he got a lot from Charlie Chaplin, I can see. Yeah. Okay. We'll take five minutes break, okay? So, yeah. I'm just comfortably low energy, so. <coughs> just go to right. Ah, boy. Yeah.
Ja. So I guess I'm not <coughs> gaining any weight, although I eat a lot nowadays. And I also eat potato chips with uh, the jalapeno queso, the cheese, melted cheese, the the, the one that you put in the refrigerator. Corn, yeah, with corn chip, right? And I eat Cheetos. I love Cheetos nowadays. I eat potato chips too. At night, before I go to bed, watching movie and stuff. Yeah, probably it's because I use all the energy that I, uh, I eat. I consume all the energy, so yeah, I guess that's fine. But still, I don't do sugar because what what happens if I to sugar like candies or chocolates I get pimples and I really don't want that I get pimples on my face I really don't want that okay so yeah so I, I don't do sugar okay yeah but when it comes to like fried chicken I do fried chicken uh, fried wings chicken wings yeah I do those and fried chicken gizzards yeah I, I do that Thrice a week, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm healthy. I run and um, suck in my belly. So, yeah. I, I have this, some pants that I have quite tight. And also, some belts that I have is quite short. So, I'm not developing <laughs> what they call it foot baby yeah I'm not developing that at all so yeah okay I, okay so all right I guess I consume all the energy that I intake okay, that's fine. oh boy yeah I'm sorry I'm just low energy okay so uh, I don't quite feel like drinking either <laughs> Strange day, huh? 
Yeah. I guess we can talk about politics, huh? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I read the news that BLM is not b being very popular nowadays. Yeah, just ideologies. That doesn't have too much merit in, in it. Yeah, it comes and goes. Okay, so. Uh, like, I mean, at least in the paper I'm writing, yeah. Rise and fall of Einsteinian relativity. I should write that down. Because his theory, uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, yeah, it's wrong theory, period. Okay, it's just, uh, yeah. And believe it or not, I'm not the only one who thinks that way. It's very minority opinion. But some people do think Einstein was wrong, relative to theories. Okay, so. They are there, okay? So I'm one of them. Minority. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Labor fatigue. It happens once in a while. <clears throat> Labor fatigue. So, business owners, okay, I'm in, an employee. I've never owned a business, all right? So, in a sense, they are special people because, uh, first of all, not everybody have got to have open up their own small business. I don't. I don't have my own business. And also, not everybody who start a small business, open up a brand new business, succeed. The percentage rate probably like ten percent succeed. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so in a way, the survival of small business, they are like chosen people. Chosen by natural selection in business environment, right? Evolution, yeah, survival of the fittest. Okay, so yeah, I do appreciate that. Yeah, I do. It's just that I, I don't want to do it. Why? Because I'm more interested in academics, okay, writing or politics. Business, that's not my thing. I'm not interested in owning my own business. Politics or academics, that's what I'm interested in. So, but I do appreciate business people. What they do. Yeah. I don't feel like drinking for some reason, okay? So what do I eat? Uh, in, in the morning, I eat vegetables. So I vegetable soup, I just put in the water and boil it in the microwave, okay. And tofu, vegetables, okay, mushrooms. That's one container. Another container, again, water. And then, uh, well, well, one container is strictly vegetables, okay, or mushrooms, all right? The other container, yeah, beans, corns, <coughs> tofu, yeah, more protein or stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Every now and then I put uh, fish in there too. But fish is good, right? Yeah. So maybe tomorrow morning I put some fish in there. Frozen fish. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, tomorrow is Friday, so. Uh, yeah. Fish is fine. Uh -huh. And. Um, during lunch, uh, I go to like supermarkets. Uh, nowadays, I go to Walmart like, once a week. Why? It's kind of too far away to go during the lunch time. Okay. But uh, Walmart, yeah, or other supermarkets, yeah, I go there and buy like fried chicken gizzards, fried chicken wings, 
or corn dog, hot dog, or uh, some salads, I guess. Uh, yeah. So today I went to Walmart and um, I bought watermelon, honeydew melon, and um, you know, long time I purchased this uh, coconut. I have a drill to put a hole in this coconut. Okay, so that's what I do. I put a straw and just you know, actually I put well I pour out the coconut milk, coconut juice, in a cup. And I drink it. I love that stuff. Okay, <coughs> coconut meat, the white lining inside of coconut. I eat some of it, but not too much because it's too fatty. When I eat very fa highly fatty food like that, it hurts my vein or artery. I feel it somewhere here on my rib. Okay, that happens when I eat. Too much pizza or too much coconut meat, the flesh, yeah, I feel it. So, but I eat some, not much. And, uh, yeah. So nowadays, I eat healthy only in the morning. <laughs> ah. Yeah. But I guess it's okay because I do a lot of exercises. Yeah. yeah. Let's say five minutes, five minutes, shall we? Okay. Somehow I don't feel like drinking today. Weird. <laughs> That's new. Huh. Oh boy.
Well, we can talk about politics, okay? By default. We, we, we are not done talking about physics, but for tonight, yeah, there's not nothing to talk about in physics. So I didn't write, okay. Uh, so, but yeah, when I write, yeah, something brand new kind of gets added or added into the paper, and then I share it with you here, okay. So, but today I didn't write, so politics. Uh, yeah, the presidential debate is at the end of this month, September, so I'm very looking forward to it. How many days left? You know, about two weeks. Oh, I am looking forward to it, yeah. It will be hugely entertaining. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Yeah, President Trump and Vice President Joe Biden, okay. Oh, you can't miss that. You can't miss that. So I'm kind of glad the Democratic Party picked uh, Vice President Joe Biden. I think it's a decent pick. Uh, well, there's some reasons why they picked him, okay. It's like this, okay, sometimes. It's probabilistically, statistically speaking, looking at the past elections, uh, incumbents they tend to win. They're more probable to, to win. Okay, so if Republican Party is the incumbent, President Trump, and he's running for re-election, and it's more likely than not he will get elected, re-elected. That's just how. Typically, it is in politics. Okay, incumbents that typically win. Okay, unless they are in big scandal or anything, something. Unless they do something very unpopular. Okay, and doing something unpopular is not always the wrong thing to do. Sometimes it's the right thing to do. Okay, but. Uh, so that's how it is in politics, and um, so. When democratic party is selecting a candidate to go against Republican Party incumbent. They have some incentive to pick somebody who's not the best. Why? Because they are going to lose anyway. Okay. But when after present two term is done, then yeah, then if that's the Republican Party two term, okay, then the next election, oh yeah, they picked the best, the very best candidate in the Democratic Party. Okay? Because they, they are the high chance of Democratic Party winning after two term of Republican Party president. Okay? So yeah. Yeah. And also smart candidates they know that too. So they don't if they are really smart, they don't run against incumbent. Okay. They run after two term is done. Okay. Yeah. I mean, pre Vice President Biden, he has long tenure and seniority in Democratic Party. So, yeah, let's give him, right? But, same thing happened, right? Uh, after first term of President Obama, Republican Party selected uh, uh, Senator McCain. Was it John McCain? I don't remember his first name. Senator McCain. Because he has long seniority and tenure in Republican Party. So, But he's not a very good presidential candidate. Everyone knew that. Okay, But yeah, he's, he has seniority. So let's give him presidential candidate nomination. That's what happened in the uh, year. 2012 and he lost right yeah yeah he was just giving some kind of entitlement to seniority personnel in the party and that happens during after the first term of the opposing party like after first term of President Obama after the first term of President Trump, okay, uh, 2012, they gave it to uh, Senator McCain, right? And in year 2020, they gave it to uh, Vice President Joe Biden. They are not the best and the brightest 
candidates, right? Yeah. Did you give to them because they have seniority? There's one way to look at it, okay? Yeah. Politics is very interesting, right? Yeah. <coughs> What else? Ah. So Vice President Biden, when he give out speeches, it's kind of boring. That's how typically uh, Democratic Party candidates are. They tend to be very boring. Why? Especially nowadays, because they want to be politically correct. So nowadays, TV shows or movies they are not fun. They are not entertaining. But they are too politically correct. But I like some of the hip hop music they make nowadays. African Americans. Okay? Like, I think they are African Americans. I don't know. I heard some, listen to some music in the radio. I think it's like hip hop. I'm guessing they are African Americans. Okay? And they, they, they don't sing about BLM, no, they're just doing their job, musicians, okay? They sing about whatever. So it's not BLM, okay? But I think those are African, contemporary African musicians, and uh, some of them are really good. High quality, yeah. I, I really like some of them, okay? Like, Rain On Me. Yeah, this kind of like, low-tone voice, female. Almost like tomboy-like. I hope she's not an LGBT member, okay? She, she said things like, rain on me, and le later on she does the rap. I like that. That's, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And some other songs, so something like a IMV or whatever, they kind of made up this three letter acronym, something like that. That was very good. That was very interesting. In the lyrics, they talk about something like futuristic musical style, something like that. That one was really good. Yeah, it was. I think it's African American hip hop music. Okay, that one was high quality. Yeah, I, I listened to it like a couple of weeks ago in radio, so it's contemporary. That was very good. <coughs> Back in the days when I was in the U.S. Army, I think it was the year 2012 or something. Yeah, African American hip hop music, you know, rap song, like R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> that was good. It was funny. Yeah, rest in peace, right? R.I.P. R.I.P. That, that was a very good song, okay? I, I really like that song, okay? Way back in 2011 or 2012, hip hop, okay? Yeah. And also, some many many other music. Okay, so uh, what's his name? I don't even know. I used to know his name. Okay, he is a very heavy set, uh, overweight African American gentleman, uh, nationally well known. Back in probably the 2012, 2011. Okay, I really liked him a lot. He's very good. Rapper, hip hop artist, African American gentleman. Uh, uh, he, he was a national, nationally known musician back in that, those days. 1911, I mean 2011, 2012, okay. And he was very good rapper. I really liked his music, okay. I just don't recall his name, alright. It's been like nine years, eight years, okay. So. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of hip hop. Rap, African American music. Yeah, huge fan, huge fan. Yeah, like Missy Elliott. Yeah, she's 
slightly uh, overweight too. Okay, but she she look great. Yeah, and, uh, great dancer and great rapper. Yeah, I like many of her. A couple of her music videos. Okay, not all. All right, some of them I. Uh, yeah. Missy Elliott. Uh, like work it and get it's not get lost it's like get I don't remember the title of that song right? it's not get jiggy with it yeah I like that song too that was the Will Smith or Fresh Prince of Bel Air yeah, Will Smith, yeah, he's a great, great dancer. And, yeah, I like that music video, Get Jiggy With It. Missy Elliott's song, Get... I don't recall the name of that song, but I like that song. That music video, too. Yeah, she fe featured this uh, very beautiful African-American lady very slender and very model type, right? And she's very beautiful and very beautiful voice too. She also is a singer. I don't remember, I don't know her name, but uh, yeah, guest artist. Yeah. Yeah, some African American like are extremely beautiful, right? Very elegant and uh, they have beautiful skin tone, yeah? Ebony, right? Oh, they're beautiful. And African gentlemen, yeah, they're very handsome people too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're fantastic. And also they're very smart and very wise people, African Americans, okay. And they're great. Great asset to America. Yeah. Okay, let's take five minutes, okay? All right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm slowly recovering from the fatigue. Yeah.
Yeah, now I recall that Missy Elliott song, Lose Control, right? Yeah, that's, I like that song, Lose Control. <laughs> Good time. What else? What else do we talk about? <sighs> oh. Uh, how about the reason I, why I lost my election, okay? Uh, probably because I didn't spend enough time with all the voters, like, some candidates do door-to-door -to -door knocking. They spend a lot of time with the voters, registered voters. There are some apps, like, i360, something like that, okay? So, <clears throat> because voter registration is a public record, okay? So, yeah, it's nothing illegal, okay? So, yeah, some apps they show even the address of the registered voters, okay? And with the party affiliation, okay? But I don't want to do that. I didn't want to. Even if I had enough time to do so, okay? Let's say I win a lottery. So I become a billionaire, right? Multi-billionaire. So I, I don't have to work, hypothetically, okay? So yeah, I, I can purchase this app and then I uh, have time to, do to go door to door knocking. I still wouldn't do it. Why? I... To me, that's kind of borders on invasion of privacy, okay? All the voter register record is public. I don't want to go door to door. And I don't want to work that hard either, okay? and. Um, uh, but when it comes to campaign pamphlet mailing, I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah, if I had a lot of money and time to do so, yeah. Other candidates that do, did that, okay. So they're, they're just introducing themselves, okay. And it could be artwork. Yeah, this campaign pamphlet. Yeah, you can design it more creative fashion and make it pretty, right? Make it humorous. Make it artsy. Poetic, sure, yeah. If I have money and time, I would, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, road sign, sure, sure. Not with, like big kaisto name like other people do. No, I would make it poetic and artsy. My name at the bottom, right? Yeah. How about ad campaign advertisement? If I had money, money and time, yeah, I would do campaign advertisement in the television, newspaper, radio, because. I like some other candidates' radio advertisement because it was very humorous. Kind of attacking the other candidate in a funny way, right? Not rude way, but fair way. I kind of, in sometimes I enjoy listening to this radio campaign advertisement, okay? So. It's entertaining sometimes, right? If they do it right. Yeah, yeah, I, I would do that, okay? Yeah. Uh, but you take money, right? So, yeah, we don't want democracy to be a pl plutocracy. And President Biden, uh, uh, President Trump, and pr Vice President Biden, they are very old people. So, gerontocracy, ruled by old people. Okay, mm. yeah, democracy, yeah, is ruled by the people. So, it's not plutocracy ruled by money, right? So. What I'm trying now is uh, I want to be famous by publishing a lot of academic articles. So I become famous outside of Alaska so that my fame, academic fame, would come knock on the door in Alaska so that Alaskans would know who I am and then vote for me to, in two years, United States Senate election. So that's the plan, that's the game plan. And that's what I'm doing, okay? It's like campaigning without campaigning, okay? Yeah, it's kind of paradoxical wisdom, truth. Uh, 
uh, a lot of Buddhism and also Chinese like philosophy, Eastern philosophy is like that. Okay. And Mr. Bruce Lee learned that he he was a student. He studied some Eastern philosophy. Okay, so in one of his interviews that I watched back in the days, he said something like "fighting without fighting," something like that. He's right. Yeah, so he's quite well read in Eastern philosophy. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, one uh, fra one Eastern philosophy like Buddhism, uh, very famous in Korea, most likely China and Japan too. Is 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 uh, in Korean pronunciation, sect uh, si gong hong si sect. Okay, I I did mention that in uh, my physics paper. Okay, it means color is emptiness and emptiness is color. Okay, so. Uh, in um, Eastern language, Eastern culture, uh, color, uh, it has some connotation, okay, some symbolism. Uh, it has to do with like materialism, something like money, power, fame, SEX, that kind of stuff, okay, so. It kind of goes with the secular wisdom where in romance market yeah uh, they say yeah hey if you chase women they will run away but let women come to you guys okay yeah it's kind of, it kind of has the same meaning the buddhist buddhist philosophy okay that's one interpretation of that okay so also Jesus, Mr. Jesus, he said something like that too, right? Yeah, those who, who are willing to die shall save his life. Those who are who want to save their lives shall lose it. Jesus said that, right? Yeah, 색측 시공 공직 시색. There's some very sim similarity there, all right? Secular wisdom, Buddhism, Buddhism. Christianity, okay, yeah, yeah. We, as humanologists, we are very good at connecting the dots, uh, notice noticing some common pattern between very disparate areas. Yeah, we are very good at pattern recognition. Yeah. I remember, like, I was taking Arabic class in University of Michigan during the summer intense okay we have very phenomenal instructor uh, in arabic and um she told me i'm very good at pattern recognition okay yeah i, I was learning arabic and yeah some rec pattern in like grammar right so she she noticed I'm, i was very good at pattern recognition okay And of course, I took artificial intelligence class, but that's not why I'm good at pattern recognition. Okay, yeah, pattern recognition is artificial intelligence thing. Yeah, maybe I learned some from that. Okay, so it's like sequence DNA sequence analysis. Uh, yeah, pattern recognition like Perl language, computer program language like a regular expression regex. Right? Maybe it helps somewhat. Okay, uh, but mostly it's because. Um, I'm interested in philosophy, okay, and I, I want to learn wide. I want to learn everything, you know. So I want to learn the underlying truth, principle, natural law. You know? Yeah. So it wasn't just artificial intelligence class, okay. So. Mm -hmm. And by the time when I learned Arabic, I studied many different languages too. Right? Yeah, like Spanish, French, some Italian, some German. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're definitely common pattern between different foreign languages. Right? Yeah. So as you learn more foreign languages, it gets easier to learn brand new foreign language because there are some common pattern between different languages. 
-hmm. Nowadays, I'm learning, learning Russian. Right? It's, it's a very beautiful language. And Russians, they're very beautiful people too. Men, women. Yeah, they're fantastic. In Alaska, we have a lot of Russians and Ukrainians, okay? And they're, they're fantastic people. Yeah. All right, we'll take five to 10 minutes break, okay? And let's stop and restart, because it's been almost one hour, all right? All right, see you soon.